Friends, our success brings happiness and peace to our home. Our always smiling, happy, and healthy lives give us every joy of life and make us the most pleased person in this world. Today's story contains all the knowledge of the world and the solutions to all problems. That's why you must watch this story till the end. Once upon a time, there was a small town. In that town, there lived a very wealthy merchant. The merchant had achieved great heights in his life. He had everything he could ask for and achieved many successes in his life. Wherever he went to do business, he was sure to succeed. He had never lost in his life. His business was also running very well. His father had told him four things that he followed regularly. And because of this, he was so successful and living a peaceful life. After a long time, the wealthy merchant became very old. He felt that his death was near and knew his son was very naive and innocent. He does not understand the world. So he called his son and said, Son, I learned four things from my father and put them into my life. Because of that, I am so happy, satisfied, and wealthy. Neither did I ever have any illness nor did I ever have any lack of money, and you can see that I am the best merchant in this town. I am satisfied with what I have. I want to tell you these four important things about the world today that my father told me. If you have incorporated all these into your life and follow them regularly, you will also become very successful in your life. By following these, no sorrow will come to your family and no problem will arise in your business. Saying this, the wealthy merchant starts telling his son four things. The first thing is to go to work in the shade and come back in the shade. The second thing is to put a leather fence around your house. The third thing is to always sweeten your food before eating. And lastly, always keep your wife tied up. After some months, the wealthy merchant died. The son of that wealthy merchant wrote down all those four things on paper so that he would not forget them, and he diligently followed these lessons. The first thing his father told him was to go to work in the shade and come back in the shade. Due to this, he built a tent from his house to his shop. After that, he followed the next thing his father said. He got a leather fence built around his house. Seeing this, the people in his neighborhood were furious. Many people even asked, why did you make a leather fence? The smell of leather is very disgusting and is causing us trouble. But since he had a lot of money, no one could oppose him for long. He had decided that he would follow all the words of his father with all his heart. His father told him the third thing to sweeten his food, and because of this, he would always make his wife cook something sweet. The fourth thing his father told him to do was keep his wife tied up, because of which he would tie her with a rope daily. Many days passed, and the life of the wealthy merchant's son gradually started deteriorating because he misunderstood his father's words and followed them accordingly. Whenever he wanted, he would go to the shop and would return home from the shop. He was not interested in his father's business. Due to this, the entire business that his father had built with great hard work had come to a standstill. He had built a leather wall around his house, which caused a foul smell to spread around. His neighbors left their homes and moved somewhere else. Even his friends and relatives started to avoid coming to his house because of that smell. He used to eat sweet food every day. Due to this, he became fat, and he suffered from many diseases. He also kept his wife tied up with a rope every day, due to which his wife also left him. But even now, he does not understand why all this is happening. He had started to get very upset, and he used to curse his father. He neither has a business nor money, nor does his wife, nor do those relatives who used to roam around him for money. And above all, his health is not good either. One day, a monk came to his nearby town and solved everyone's problems. No matter what the problem is, he solves it. Hearing this, he decided to go to that monk, hoping that he would find a solution to his problem. With this hope, he approached the monk. Reaching there, 
he fell straight to his feet and started crying loudly. The monk says to him, Son, stop crying. First, tell me your whole story. What has happened to you after all? Why are you crying like this? What is the reason for your trouble? On hearing this, the merchant's son explained his story and placed the slip in the hands of the monk, where he had written his father's words. The monk took it and started reading. As soon as the monk read it, he started laughing loudly, and he said to him, How big a fool you are! Your father gave you all the knowledge of the world, but you could not understand it. You could not follow it properly, and you are saying that he has shown you the wrong path. Your father was testing you to see whether you could draw the proper meaning from his words. If he wanted, he could have explained it to you very well. But he wanted you to learn the meaning of his words on your own. But now it seems that your intellect has become totally ruined. I have never seen a bigger fool than you. You have not gained any knowledge. If you had understood the true meaning of your father's words, then you too would have been successful in your life like your father, you would have been happier, and your life would have been cheerful. But you are such a fool that you have misunderstood your father's words. The wealthy merchant's son was confused by the monk's words and said, What do you mean? Am I not understanding my father's words correctly? And anyway, is there anything to understand about it? He clearly explained everything, and I took them into my life in the exact same way. So what did I do wrong? The monk smiled again and said to the merchant's son, Son, the meaning behind these words is deep, which you did not understand. That is why you did this foolishness and ruined your whole life. But nothing is lost yet. You still have a lot of time. The merchant's son started crying loudly and said, Please explain the meaning of these words. What is the true meaning of these four things? The monk said, Your father told you to go to work in the shade and come back in the shade. It means you should reach the shop before sunrise and come back home after sunset. It will give you more time to understand the work properly and grow the business. But you took it the wrong way. The second thing your father told you was to keep a leather fence around your house. It means that you should keep a dog or cat in your home. It will protect your home from all sides. Your wealth will be completely safe, and you can focus on your work without worrying. But you changed the meaning of getting a leather fence to something else. The third thing was to always sweeten your food before eating. It means that you should eat food only when you feel hungry, not before or after. When a person is hungry, their body is craving nutrients. They are more likely to appreciate the food and digest it properly. But you also misinterpreted this and started eating sweets every day. It causes your weight to increase and many diseases to make their way into your body. The fourth thing your father told you was to keep your wife tied up. It does not mean physically tying up your wife with a rope, but rather it signifies the importance of building a strong bond and partnership with your spouse. Your father wants you to have a close, supportive, and loving relationship with your wife. By keeping her tied up in your life, you ensure that you both work together as a team, facing life's challenges and joys together. But you took it quite literally and physically tied your wife with a rope, which, understandably, led to her leaving you. What you did to your wife is not forgivable. But you should apologize to your wife because you were wrong. So go and apologize to her and bring her back home. In essence, your father's advice was not meant to be taken literally but symbolically, with deeper meanings behind each statement. Your inability to grasp these deeper meanings led you to misinterpret and misapply his guidance, resulting in the deterioration of your life, relationships, health, and business. Still, it's not too late yet. If you follow all these things correctly, you can achieve everything you have lost and even more. All these things are the solution to all the problems in our lives. With that, the monk fell silent, and the merchant's son also understood all his mistakes. He bowed down to that monk and returned home. 
He implemented all these four teachings into his life and followed them correctly. After that, positive effects started to appear in his life. He was once again successful in rebuilding his business. He also brought his wife back home, and soon, his life became happy and blissful. I hope you liked this story and have learned something from it. You can tell us your thoughts about the story by commenting in the comment box below. Before going, like the video and subscribe to the channel.